Hi everyone, welcome to Games Haven. My name is Rhoda and I'm so glad you could join me here today. And so in today's video, I wanted to share about um, the five areas that I've invested in my 30s and I don't regret doing that. I'm just coming nearing the end of my 30s and starting to approach um, 40, 40 years. And so I thought it would be wise for me to share um, the areas that I've taken time to invest during the last decade of my life. And uh, I'm glad that I made that decision to do that investment. And maybe you can learn one or two things. And also feel free to share in the comment section any areas that you're working on or that you intend to invest in your life. So the number one area that I've invested in my life is spiritual growth. I have created time to read the word of God, to pray, to fast, to give, and to be able to develop a relationship with my Lord and my master. It's, it's very important as you get older, you get to realize that your work with the Lord and your relationship with the Lord is far much more than just what meets the eye, than just going for a Sunday service or uh, erat erratically reading the Bible here and there, but rather a relationship that you need to develop, be intimate with it, and learn on the journey. The Bible tells us that the, the, the Lord shall lead, or the Lord shall go before the steps of the righteous man. He shall go before us. And so for us to be able to hear that voice and be led needs us to invest time in reading the word, knowing what he says, and creating that relationship with um, Jesus so that you are able to walk uh, that journey. So I've taken time to um, read the word of God. I've taken time to stay in the secret place. Sometimes it's not easy that you sit there, you're praying for something and waiting for the answer. But because you know this is a relationship, you just don't check in and check out. You take time to stay there. So, and I really, um, I'm grateful that I've taken that time to invest in my spiritual growth. If I look back, the where I was 10 years ago, as a born again Christian is not where I am today. Um, I can confidently say that I've seen growth. And that's what the Bible tells us, that we need to mature. We need to mature into sonship. We, we need to mature from taking milk to eventually taking meat and dividing the word of God from like meat and bone, the apostle Paul tells us. And so looking back, I can see that growth it has been steady over the years and as the Lord enables me I'm able to uh, touch lives here and there and mentor only because I've taken time to grow spiritually. The second area that I have been investing in my life is career growth. You know when I started out in my career I didn't even know where I will end up. But over the years, I've learned to identify my strength, my gifts, my talents, and use them in the workplace. And now I can confidently say, I can do that task or I cannot do it. I can also confidently say that I want to specialize or be an expert in one area and not the other. Why? Because I have invested time, effort, and opened up my mind to learn through experience, through uh, furthering my studies, to know what I really want to do with my career. Um, and I've seen the steady growth over who I am, and I've seen myself excelling just because I have identified the strength that I have and what I can work with towards my career. So there's been a career growth over the last um, few years and I've taken time to invest in that. It does not necessarily mean that a career growth in terms of uh, uh, leadership or going uh, up the ladder, but as a person identifying what I really do best in my career and developing that and working on that. Okay, number three, 
what I've also invested in my 30s is service. I've been of service to God, to my family, and to the community. And it just started like um, volunteer, vo being volunteering, volunteering uh, in one area and that opened up opportunity in other areas. So for the last six years, I've been serving in my church, uh, I've been serving my community, but also intentionally serving my family. Just realizing that um, the tasks that I do each day, I don't just do them for the sake of doing them, even house chores. I just don't do them for the sake of they need to be done, but for the sake that I am serving my husband, I'm serving my children, and it's a gift to be able to serve them. Uh, just preparing, preparing a meal, not for the sake of making dinner, but for the fact that it's God who has given me the grace, the strength, and the provision to be able to serve them at this particular time. And it's given me a lot of joy being of service to others. Um, waking up on a Sunday morning, looking forward to go to serve in my local church, going on Saturday for events, to the community just to go and be there and join with other people from um, different uh, walks of life and just being of service to our community. It's, it's brought joy in my life and I'm very happy that I took that chance to be, to change the, my, um, my thinking around service and seeing it as a way of giving rather than just waiting to receive. And then the fourth area that I've also invested, the fourth area that I've invested is also creating, is that the fourth or the fifth? <laughs> fourth, okay. It's also um, creating meaningful friendships. You realize when you are growing up or when you're young, you, you have so many friends. I'm not saying everyone, but majority of people, you have so many friends. And as the seasons of life come and go, uh, sometimes those friendships start to dwindle. But over the last decade, I've been very intentional on who allowed, who I allow to my space and especially to say, this is my friend, you know, to create that friendship, one, to create the bond, and two, to keep the friendship going. Some friendships have been seasonal for that particular season. They serve their purpose and they go, and I've learned to accept that, that they, will, they were just seasonal friendships. But I've also learned to create meaningful um, and impactful relationships that can stand the test of time. Uh, not really my own effort, but also learning to take it to God in prayer. You know, there's nothing we can sustain as human beings unless the Lord builds the house. We build in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city, we watch in vain. So not really my own effort, but taking it to prayer and praying over this relationship and trusting the leading of the Lord over this relationship. So I have learned to take time, to create time, not take time, to create time from my busy schedule and be able to check on my friends and pray for them, pray with them, visit them. Um, so I've also taken that time to be able to invest in those relationships. And as I can, I can really testify that they are bearing fruits, not only for, for me as a person, but also for the next generation that we are raising the children. You see that, that the children are starting to interact with their children and also getting to learn from one another in different areas of our life. And then finally, the last one, I have invested in my health though that is still a work in progress. But I can say for sure I have improved. Like now I can feel um, my body giving me a warning sign and I take it serious. You know, when you're young, in your 20s, I used to neglect a lot of things. I have headache, I don't bother checking it up. 
but now I have been very intentional if I feel I'm not feeling well or there's something wrong with my body. The body usually gives you signs. It can be a headache, uh, it can be pain somewhere. So I have learned that when I just notice those signs, I am booking my appointments, I'm going for my checkups on time and just following it up and making sure that I do take the medications. It's still a work in progress, but I am learning to invest in my health because I've realized if you don't have good health, then I'll not be of service to, to my generation. I'll not serve my purpose. I will not pursue the things that I want to pursue. So those are the five areas that I've invested in this decade. And I'm hoping that as God gives us and gives me life for the next decade, I will keep working on those and many more. And I don't regret doing that. Um, I hope you've learned something. I'll see you in my next video. And if you like this video, please subscribe, share with your friends, and hit that notification bell so that every time I upload new content, you'll be able to get that uh, notification. Thank you very much. God bless you. Bye-bye.